Hello everyone, this is Satvik and this video will be discussing about Cadbury Sting attack. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter. And if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord. So all the links in the description below. And if you end up liking, liking this video, make sure you like it and do share for more uh, people who are interested in this stuff. So guys, curb roasting is one of an active directory attack. So whenever you are working with an active directory and once you get an initial access. So this is a, like a privilege escalation access, like post exploitation attack. So make sure, so if in order to follow along this attack so make sure you have some kind of initial access so like some kind of a normal user normal domain users uh like username and the password or something like that okay so kerberos thing uh in the sense like we'll be trying to uh, attack something called as a kerberos authentication method with the help of something called as an spn so let's start what the kerberos thing is and also guys uh all the credit uh, so this is one of the good uh, resource so i consider this as my notes and i will leave the link for this notes in the description below and this is one of the wonderful resource so it is really cool and easy to understand and also in order to show this attack practically i'm going to use something called as an active so this is a room uh, which is available on hack the box and it is a retired machine so like you can you cannot find it if you are having a, a free uh, membership but if you are having some kind of a paid membership you can uh, have this access to this room so uh, let's start so so the reason why we uh, so in the reason uh, the reason why we uh, start exploiting the kerberos thing or the kerberos authentication is like we basically target something called as service accounts so in windows or in active directory there is something called as a service account like some kind of an sql service like it can be some kind of a web service or some kind of services which are running back uh, back there so what happens in the sense like this service accounts run with the highest privileges like anti-authority system or something like that and also the reason why it is uh like uh, why people like to exploit this service accounts is like cause they have some policy like no pass uh, no like uh, a password uh like expiry or something like that like generally if you take a domain user so most of the times you can see it like there is something like 90 or 100 days for a new password or the password expiry but service accounts uh most of the time like in 80 percent of the times they doesn't have something like a password expiry so what happens if there is no password expiry let us assume that uh, uh, the password of a service account is like bit old like an uh, an year or something like that the chance of uh, finding the password like uh, may, may, maybe due to some kind of leakage of data or some kind of uh, so, some stuff the password might get leaked and the cracking of that uh, password is like uh, pretty uh, like more easy compared to that of a normal stuff like uh, like hashing is always something like you can call like it's a hit or trail so sometimes you can uh, crack some hash and sometimes you cannot so but service account since there is no password expiry so there is a high chance of cracking it so that is what all this thing is about so let's discuss so that so basically in the kerberos thing we'll be trying to exploit the service accounts so okay so what is a kerberos so kerberos is an authentication method so whenever some user logs in okay uh, uh like uh to the active directory so what happens in the sense like is here the domain controller acts as a kerberos service so once you do an nmap scan on your uh, uh, some kind of a domain controller you can see that uh, it has some service called as kerberos okay so what happens in the sense like uh, once it once you authenticate it provides something called as ticket granting ticket so it is a kerberos ticket it's like an authentication ticket so what happens in the sense like when this uh, when this user tries to access some services like it can be an sql service but here the use something called as skype so it looks for something called as spn so service principal name so service principal name is like uh it's like something called as auto a service logon account like uh it's a feature for a service logon account where it doesn't ask for any authentication like username or password or something like that so let us assume that you are looking for something like an sql service and what happens in the sense like it looks for something which is related uh looks for a service which has this spn so if there is an spn what happens in the sense like it doesn't require any kind of authentication so this is what we try to exploit so once it once the spn is identified so what happens in the sense like so the dc in the sense like the kerberos uh, server provides something called as ticket ticket granting service 
so this is what we'll be exploiting so how this ticket granting uh ticket will be looks like is like it's like a, some kind of a hash value okay so that that hash you can take and you can crack it and you can find the password so let's start guys so uh, i'm using this active box once again and also i'll leave the link for this article in the description below so it is really easy and also short to understand so first of all let's ping this ip and let's see whether we have uh, the stuff or not yes we can ping it so guys uh, let's start so you can see that uh, initially i got some credentials which is there is an account called as svc underscore tgs and uh, there is something called as gp this is the password to be uh frank so so this is the credentials that i'm going to use so as i told you this cat browsing is a post exploitation attack so if you want to find out so there is something you can find so wh while you're doing this box there is going to be something called as uh, groups.xml via this uh, uh, this smb and you can find the c password there so it's a kind of a vulnerability it's an old uh, like cv there so you can uh, decrypt that c password and you can get the like you can get the password so from there i got this password okay so let's do so make sure you're having impact installed okay so if you don't know so i recommend installing impact version 0.9.19 okay so if you don't know how to install that so i leave the link for that in the description below you can do check them out from there so the running is pretty simple so impact it uh, hyphen get user spn so this so once you install the impact it, you will get this stuff and you need to provide an option uh, dcip so domain controller ip so it is uh, 10.10.10.100 .10 in my case and i need to provide uh, the domain name which uh, which is active.htb in my case and also before uh, providing this active.htb make sure you uh, edit your etc hosts file okay and provide the username which you compromised okay let me hit enter so uh, once i hit enter so it is going to ask me for the credentials so just copy the credential uh, which uh, i am having i'm just copying here so now you can paste the credential here and i can hit enter so now what this particular command does is like it just looks for the spns that's it okay so spn we all discussed it's an auto login feature so you can see something like there is an administrator account itself which is linked with an spn so what we can do now is like uh, since you have some kind of an spn account so you can do something like you can add an option previous to the command okay so you are requesting for a ticket granting service here so previously we just seen what are all the spns that are available okay but now let us look for something called as uh, ticket granting ticket so t ticket granting servers ticket okay sorry so this ticket in the sense like it is nothing but a hash so we'll try to request that okay so just a minute and let me hit enter so you need to paste the uh, password once again and you can see this is the hash here so this is nothing but a tgs ticket so what you can do is like you can simply copy this okay so i'm going to something like uh, opt okay and i'm putting something like uh, nano and uh, hash dot txt i'm just going to paste it here control x and control x so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to use hashcat so uh so hashcat in the sense like you need to use uh just a minute this is some old stuff so in hashcat let me open a new tab you can do something like hashcat hyphen hyphen help and you can grab for uh a kerberos or something like that okay so or you can just refer to this article and you can see the module the mode is like 13100 so you can see 13100 here so kerberos tgs uh, thing so that is the thing so you can go via like this or you can just do something like that so how what i'm doing here is simple so i'm providing a dictionary here so which is a word list here so that i can in order to crack the hash okay so module is 13100 uh, the hash file is hash.txt and i'm providing my rocky.txt for example and hyphen hyphen force cause this particular virtual machine is only running on a cpu so let me hit enter so you need to wait some time here and once it is done you can uh, like you can find the password so this is something like an uh, attack so if, if you want to practice it make sure you go you can check out this room here but make sure you are having a premium subscription here and that is it so and also guys if you are strictly following this article so this is there's something called as get users spns.py so when i try to use this particular thing uh, this particular python script like uh there is i'm getting some kind of module issues so hence the reason that's the reason i used impact it hyphen uh the thing okay so you can check that out and you can see it is cracked here you can see the password is like uh, ticket master 1968 let me copy that okay so what i can do is like i can do ps 
uh, exec okay so i think i have the previous command so you can see the ps exec in the sense like to get a com uh, it tries to exploit this smb shares and uh, it can get the uh, access so active.htv is the domain so administrator is the username as we observed previously and the ticket master 1968 is the password and at the rate the domain controller or any ip you want so if you are as you are having administrator you can uh, run that okay so once you do that so it is going to uh, look for the writable share and you can see it is a it is having some writable share like admin and dollar and you can see we get a shell if i do a uh, who am i you can see it is an anti-authority system so guys this is what all about the anti uh this cat hosting attack so if you are having any doubts or anything like that you can do let me know in the comment section but this is pretty simple attack so we'll try to exploit this uh, service which is having an spn that is what all we do in a kerberos kerber hosting attack so if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you